Bands time to shine. Welcome back to the channel, man. Appreciate those who've been tuned in. If you're new here, appreciate you. Welcome, all that good stuff, man. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We eight subscribers away from 600. With that being said, we got a video talking about culture and a relationship. Y'all know how we are with these videos. These are breakdown videos, not live reactions. Let's get straight. I, I asked my wife, why did you stay with me during, during um, COVID? I said, why do you stay with me? And she's like, because I love you. I said, and then I thought about it. I was like, no, that ain't it. Because we, we were in a business meeting, my business partner, right? And I said, it can't be it, honey. We have over 50% divorce rate. Do you think everybody that got married said they got married because they loved them, most of them? And I said, love, it's not enough. And I said, go deeper. And then she sat there, you know, with that look that she always gives me when I'm like, because, oh, you know, I'm a thinker. And then she said, okay. I love you because you let me be me. Man. Then she said, I love you because we can laugh. I love you because we operate our home like a business. I love, and she began saying stuff and saying. Listen, for us as men, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, everybody, I mean, everybody knows that. I think it's, we ain't got to talk about that. I think it's women probably think the same thing too. But for us as men like that, I, I love you. That's because I love you. I'm in, lo I'm in love with you. Like we love hearing that. You know what I'm saying? But that for sure ain't enough. Like we know that's not enough. Um, You don't have to say a mouthful to say something deep and meaningful. Like not to, not saying that we're grading what you say or to say that what you're, whatever you say isn't meaningful, but you don't have to say a mouthful to say something deep and meaningful. But like it or not, you have to understand this. It might take a little bit for it to come out, but that's okay. Certain certain combos is needed. Certain little deep combos is needed. You don't have to say a mouthful to say something. Because that when he heard that, he probably like, oh, okay. You allow, I allow you to be you. Oh, okay, you know, because I could apply. I, I personally, that's some that's some, that's a favorite of mine. Be I think all men need to be women who allow them to be them. You know what I'm saying? Who don't look at you weird because you can't do what the next man could do. Maybe at that moment. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all we see. If you can't do this, if you can't pay all the bills, you, you, my, my, my dad taught me if a man can't do this, you know what I'm saying? All that, you know? It's like, all right, see, go to the next one then. Because I'm not able to do all those things at this moment. I'm learning. I'm developing. I'm growing. I'm not able to do that at this moment. If you don't like that, go. Okay, you know, I like that you're, you're I like that you're, you're building towards those things. You know, I'll, I'll be by, I'll be by your side throughout it all, and vice versa. You know, what I'm saying you'll get all the, you'll be treated how you need to be treated, vice versa, to the woman. That's that's something for me personally. Allowing me to be me, even though allowing me to be me, knowing I can't do X, Y, and Z right now, not making me feel bad, not trying to pressure me or whatever the case may be. Because a lot of people is pressed. A lot of people is going broke trying to keep up with an image that they don't need. A lot of people is trying to, they feel for their anniversary. They got to do all this extra stuff. They got to go do this, do that, break bread. With, and you barely got money like that. Like you working, pay, you paycheck to paycheck, but you sitting here trying to do this. You know what I'm saying? You got to, stuff like that is very, very important to me. Allowing me to be myself. Um, allowing us to laugh. Allowing, allowing when we are upset at each other, we don't do the whole ignoring for the entire day thing. We don't do, we don't go below the belt. You know what I'm saying? We do, we don't, um, we don't go to sleep upset. We don't go, somebody don't go sleep on the couch. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to lead to this next part that, that they about to say. Listen. And then I said, what we've done in our relationship is we've created a culture. Yeah. Everything you've said, because think that cult. I didn't even, bro. The culture thing. I didn't even really realize what they meant until I thought about it. Like that culture. Like, feel me. You, you know what I'm saying. You see all the shit when, when y'all upset at each other. Oh, buddy, go sleep on the couch or something like that. Right? Some goof, like goofy shit. That that that's that's bro house that he that, that he contributing in bills and whether he paying all the bills or contributing in. Buddy, go sleep on the couch when they when they into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, he has to get out the room to go sleep on the couch when they into it. Not that he deliberately went and did it. He had, he just, you feel me? He got kicked out the room or some shit. Or um, no low blows being thrown when we're into it. Nobody going to sleep upset. Nobody leaving the house upset. You know what I'm saying? Unless if you got to, you know, I'm just going to go to the gym real quick, work out real quick. I'll come back and we can work this out. Whatever the case may be, you know, talk to each other in a proper tone. 
You know what I'm saying? That's culture. Even though it might be something about that person that that irrit the bro that fuck that fucking irritate like bothers you like you damn near hate it. To be honest, you hate that one thing about them. Hate is a strong ass word, but that's something that you probably hate about them. But then they do all these other things. But then that one main thing is a big one. Sometimes that one small thing is really a big one because it does it does a detriment it does detriment to your mental. So that sometimes that one small thing is big, or those those two three things that they do. It is bad, but the reason why you might stay is because of the culture that y'all 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 built, the foundation that y'all built. You know what I'm saying? You're able to come back in, like I said, no low bros are thrown. It's just you know that's just what it is. But sometimes, hey, even sometimes you still end up going away, I, even when that culture is made. Sometimes the culture don't last. Sometimes the culture breaks itself. But yeah, like when they say culture, I'm like, okay, that makes sense. When you establish that culture, that foundation, more often than not. It's still it's still a possibility, but more often than not, yeah, you're able to reconcile and work shit out. Let's keep going though. Not the great companies like Google, all these companies, people, they have YouTube, where they have a culture, people want to stay. All right, whenever you create a culture. When there's a certain job you have, the culture at the job makes you want to stay, even if you can make if you're making forty three an hour at this job, but then there's no culture, it's just terrible business, whatever, but you're making more money. But then you had another job where there was actual culture. You feel me? There was actual culture type shit. You know, you actually had a smile on you. It was you still had to work hard, but you had a smile on your face going to work. You get what I'm saying? But you was only making 36. You was making 36 to 38 an hour. But you making 43 at the other job that has no culture, bad business, bad you know, bad managers or bad just just bad everything. <laughs> but at the other job you make 38 but the culture is amazing you know you 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 wake up with a smile on your face to go to work you guys have potlucks you know what i'm saying you guys it, it, it's you have great staff and you had great working conditions some cuz money money controls people people will leave great people will leave a great working working conditions to make more money you sacrifice better working conditions to make a little bit a little bit extra dollars you get what i'm saying not and money controls people. Not saying that money don't matter because people try to make it sound like y'all swear money don't matter. No, money definitely matters. What, what do we all wait, bro? You woke up today. You about to go to work, right? You need you need you need you need to feed your kids, feed yourself, put a roof over your head, clothes on your back, feet, socks on your feet, drawers on your ass, like all that, bro. Like we understand that nobody ever downplaying money. We just saying don't let money control you. Don't let money be the main thing in your relationship. Don't let money control. <laughs> you you're 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 a slave to money if you let money control you. You're gonna sell your soul eventually. Trust me. But let's keep going. Culture yeah. in your relationship, no one wants to leave. No. Yeah, no, it's just like a job. Nobody nobody wants to leave a, a a job that has culture, has good working conditions, all of the above. Man, that's it's just, it's the same thing, bro. That's why sometimes you really gotta pick your poison to understand what would you rather have. But hey, I ain't gonna lie though. Sometimes it can be a situation where culture, feel me, some people is willing to go off that culture, especially if it's something detriment to your mental health, you know? That's just what it is. Some people will leave leave a relationship that has good culture if that those those couple things that the other person does is damaging their mental health or damaging their spirit, whatever the case may be. Sometimes it be like that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. But that's the video, though. I appreciate those who've been tuned in. If you watch this whole video, hey, I appreciate it. Hit that comment section, man. But uh, we got more videos dropping. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button on here, the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 600 subscribers. And I'm gone, man. I appreciate y'all.